A warning that shoppers could face shortages of some foods within days because of the crisis in carbon dioxide supplies. The food and drink industry say poultry and pork are among the products that could be affected. The government needs to solve this in the next few days. It's that urgent to avoid significant disruption in our stores. Well, we'll have the very latest from our business editor also this lunchtime. A third man faces charges over the Salisbury poisonings. Police say Denis Sergeyev was part of the Russian intelligence hit squad that tried to kill Sergei Skripal and his daughter. Boris Johnson meets President Biden today, the first time they've had talks at the White House. The boy whose body was dumped in the River Thames after a ritual killing. 20 years on, detectives make a fresh appeal for information. Thousands more people flee the volcano that's erupted on the Spanish island of La Palma. And Prince Philip, the practical joker, as revealed by his family in a new documentary. He used to get in a lot of trouble for my grandmother for covering most of the places uh, we had lunch and things with mustard on the ceiling. And coming up in sports later in the hour on the BBC News Channel, we'll look ahead to this evening's internationals with all the home nations involved in women's World Cup qualifiers. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. There's a warning today that shoppers will start noticing shortages of poultry, pork and bakery products within days as a result of the crisis in the supply of carbon dioxide. The food and drinks industry are calling for urgent action from the government to prevent empty shelves, possibly by the end of next week. CO2 is used for food packaging and for stunning livestock before slaughter. Spiralling 